Hi there, I'm Heather for Garden Design and it is cold. I live in Garden in the southwest suburbs of Chicago, zone 5B, and when I woke this morning it was about 34 degrees and there was a light frost on the ground and I could see my breath. Fortunately we're a little, a little warmer, about 38 degrees, but it's still cold enough for, for gloves and a hat. But just because the air temperature is cold doesn't mean the ground is too cold. And actually, fall is an awesome time to plant, to transplant your trees, shrubs, divide things, and get them relocated to other parts of the garden. The soil is nice and warm. It's been heated all summer long, and it retains that heat for a long time. Now, if you're going to be planting or transplanting or dividing, you want to make sure you're getting that done at least six weeks before the ground freezes. And around here, my ground freezes usually around Christmas time, so I'm right within that window. Because autumn is such a great time to plant, I'm going to be dividing my ornamental onion, also called allium. This particular variety is called millennium. So I'm not going to be taking from this stand. I just want to show you what it looks like in the autumn with these beautiful seed heads. It's super easy to divide and you don't need many things and it's really easy to take care of, which is why I love it for my garden. It's one of those low maintenance plants, loves full sun, hardy in zones four to eight, um, super pollinator friendly with lots of multi-season interest. So when it comes up in the spring, it has this grassy foliage, then moving into June, June, July it develops these beautiful lollipop flowers with, with clusters of purple ball-shaped bulbs that are always covered with pollinators. Very water-wise plant. All of my allium remains standing for the winter because of the winter interest. When these seed heads are covered with snow, it has a lovely effect in the garden. I'm focusing on this clump of allium here. This is Millennium Allium. It loves dry spaces, and this is very, very dry. This is right along my driveway. This clump has a problem with bindweed. And it's, it's just woven all the way through this. So bindweed spreads through many ways. It spreads vegetatively. So if one little leaf of this were to drop into the soil, it can root and just keep spreading. So I'm going to dig this clump up, remove all of the bindweed, and then divide it and add it to other parts of my garden, which is the beauty of dividing plants. You can make more with less. You don't have to spend any money. This is free. And I'll get a lot of clumps from just this single clump here. For dividing and transplanting, there are two tools that I cannot live without. One is my Hori Hori knife. It's got that nice serrated edge for cutting through a root ball. And the other one is my transplanting shovel. It's got a nice sharp edge on it, and it really is good for getting in around the plant, lifting it, and then slicing through the center of plants to make divisions. Before I sink my shovel in the ground, I'm gonna pull up as much bindweed as I possibly can so I'm not moving it around the garden. With bindweed, you don't want to compost this. You want to throw this right into the trash. This is a noxious weed and it will grow anywhere. So this is going straight into the garbage. There are two ways I can divide this. I can just cut out individual sections from the plant and leave the entire plant intact, or I can lift the entire plant and divide sections from it. I'm going to lift this whole thing out because I know I've got bindweed worked in here too and I want to get that out of there so I'm not moving it to other parts of the garden. So let's get after it. We're going to dig around the base of the plant, not too close to the center. I want to leave some roots intact, but the cool thing about ornamental onion, it's super resilient. Now that I've got the perimeter around the plant loosened, they're really easy to lift out. They're very shallow rooted. So I can just go ahead and, ooh, I missed some bindweed here. Watch how easy this is. See how shallow rooted that is? Which makes it really easy to divide. You can get in there with a transplant shovel if you feel it's necessary, but with allium, it really isn't. They're so shallow rooted, they literally just pull apart into their own divisions. You don't have to be precious with it. They're going to be just fine. Just from that one clump I dug up, I have nine plants here and I could make a lot more out of this depending on the size of the clump that I want to have. Look how easy it is to divide. Let's plant them. I smell like onion that kind of goes with the territory when you're working with ornamental onion. 
I'm spacing these divisions about 12 inches on center, which means I'm measuring from the center of one plant to the center of the next plant, and that's a 12 inch or one foot spacing. And I'm gonna plant them at the depth they were in the other hole. So not very deep, you just wanna make sure you're covering the roots. They're not gonna look so happy after you transplant them. They will wilt down, but they will be just fine. The roots will start setting. And last but not least, water. You want to water these in really well. And fortunately, we have rain coming tomorrow. So that's the beauty of planting in the fall. It tends to be the rainy season in most parts. If you don't get adequate rainfall, about an inch or so a week, you want to provide supplemental watering until the ground freezes, just to make sure these guys have plenty of time to root in. Allium is such a great plant to divide and share with friends and neighbors. It's so easy to take care of water-wise, pollinator-friendly, winter interest, hardy in zones four to eight, loves full sun. You really don't have to think about this plant, so why wouldn't you want to make more of it? And it applies to so many of our other perennials, so don't overlook fall. It's a great time to divide plants, make more of them, save money, and add beauty to your garden. Oh, and one more thing, you're going to smell like onions. <laughs>